things to think about as you're trying to figure out what's the, what's the right fit. Which, you know, should I build it myself? Should I take an off-the-shelf player? There's one of the first things that you're going to want to consider is cost. There is a widely divergent cost on the off-the-shelf players from totally free with a permissive open source license to not even close to free. And if you're not you know, a multi-billion dollar company, you may not even want to think about it. <laughs> and so the, one of the first things you're going to want to consider is, what's the price point? Is this going to make sense for me? If you're going to build it yourself, you also want to consider the price in terms of your development time. Do you have the staff it's going to take to build and maintain this? I, many of my larger customers build their own players. They don't use the off-the-shelf players. Some of the large ones do, but the vast majority of the larger players, they like the control of building it to be exactly what they want as opposed to trying to retrofit somebody else's player into their specific needs. Most of the smaller companies I work with do not build their own players. They use the various off-the-shelf players. Um, things to think about, are you looking for a fully managed service versus a standalone player? Do you want something that's going to provide a whole digital asset management service where it manages your content and it does your transcoding and it does all of that for you? Or do you simply want something to play back some video files that you have? Um, what other services do, are needed? Do you want to support? Do you need closed captioning? Do you need HLS and Dash support? Do you want to support just one or the other? Do you need support for Roku and Xbox do you just need support for web and phones? On phones, is mobile web enough? Do you need native applications? These are all different questions that I can't answer for you. You have to figure out for yourself what's going to make sense for your company and your use cases about which platforms you want to make, which platforms are a good fit for you. As fairly obvious, the, you know, the cheaper the, plat the solutions tend to be, the less full featured they tend to be. There's a reason that the more expensive ones are more expensive. Um, you know, I mentioned what platforms you need to support, what budget you have, how much customization do you need to do? Are you, you know, is the standard skin of the HTML5 video player, is that adequate for you? Do you want to have high, a lot of customization around the look and feel of the player? Do you want to have customization over the adaptive bitrate algorithms that you use? Some of these allow for it, others don't. And again, that's not an important use case for everyone, but for folks who that is important for, it's, it's very important. And so it's just a matter of finding what's the right fit for what you need. 